What up, riders? You know what time it is. You know who it is. Your boy Savage, aka the Savlok. You tuning in the Savlok's Hood Tales? Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and let's get to the politic, man. Salute to all the tribes out there, and let's get into this video. So today, this video comes from my comment section. Shout out to Donovan Lucero. He asked me a question in my comment section, and I'm going to kind of be doing this for now on. Um, if you put something in the comment section and I could touch touch a little bit on it and put in detail for you guys to understand, I'm going to definitely do it. Um, so his question to me, what is a Denver who what Denver hood is originally from Denver that is rooted from the mile high that, you know, what I'm saying keeps it all about Denver and it's very active from the streets to the penitentiary. And when I think about this, I think about scenarios of who has a resume in Denver that's original Denver hood that is known to put in work and known to handle business. And there's a couple hoods out there. But the big hood that comes to my mind, and if you're familiar with the Denver scene and the politics out here, is the GKIs. The GKIs are from the west side of Denver, and they put it down for Denver all around. Like everything about them is Denver, from the sports teams to just having that, that native pride of the Mile High City. The GKIs, um, they at, at one time was called the Lapan Boys. And, you know, this is the OGs that started everything. And over the years, the Lapan Boys, um, I think, I don't know too much, but I think a power struggle um, was amongst that unit and they split up into two different hoods. Half of them went to being these the, this other hood called the Inca Boys and half of them became GKIs. And to be truthful, them hoods, them circles collided and they actually became mutual enemies. Um, GKIs. They held it down for the west side and they actually got pretty deep out here in the streets. And then early 2000s, 2004, they get indicted and they get took off the streets. A lot of their numbers got took off the streets. A lot of their OGs got sent to the pen, got life sentences and a lot, a lot of them became lifers and got stretched. So their presence, a lot of them fools became penitentiary individuals and they started actually putting on a lot of fools in the penitentiary the gki's one thing i respect about the gki's is their literature and everything they hold their self on is all about respect all about being a man all about holding their issues and cleaning up their backyards and being responsible for theirs um i never really had any issues with the gki's except you know when i was younger I actually got into it with this fool named Javier from GKIs, and uh, we got into it. We banged with each other, you know what I'm saying? It, it was a nice little phase session. Me and this fool was squabbling, and it lasted for, you know, it lasted for like 10 minutes. We were just banging, and then we catch our breath, get the heads. I got a lot of partners that are GKIs, and even I got a couple uncles that are Gal United Insanes. So, you know, um, yeah, them fools keep it, hold it down, bro. They, uh, they are very active. They don't get backed by anybody. They're not with the Crips, Bloods. They're not with North Daniel, Sudanios. They're their own hood. And them fools hold it down for their sector. And you know what I'm saying? Um, they're well respected. Like a lot of their OGs are respected throughout the penitentiaries out here in Denver, out here in Colorado, the Colorado system. Um, one of my main homies. I had a gang of, I had a gang of uh, GKI homies that, you know, I just, I clicked with. And then uh, another story for when I was little, GKIs got into it with these fools from 16 Blocks. We used to get into it with the 16 Blocks a lot. So at one time, the GKIs and fools that we messed with, we were all actually like connected and, uh, you know, much respect to the homie Guckus and much respect to the homie Baby Knight. Much respect to AG and Ricky Knotts and all them fools. Um, Little Nightmare, Just Dice, like OG D-Mac, OG Frizz, Johnny Jeff. Rest in peace to the homie uh, Johnny. Um, but 
I know Gang of Them Fools, man, and they always show me respect. You know what I'm saying? They always show the Lokes respect, too. You know what I'm saying? Out here in the system. But, uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a gang in a, in a hood that keeps it all Denver, that holds it with the best of them from every state. Like a lot of G's hit the federal pens, and you always hear about the G's having a good rep. They always handle their business in the federal pens, and... You know, a lot of fools are respected, you know what I'm saying, amongst the GKI car. Um, and when you come out here to the federal pens, the Denver, the Colorado um, fools doing federal time, they're kind of, you know, they got the lower numbers. So you got to be a rider, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the G's are just that hood that holds it down for Denver with the utmost respect. And, and they put a good, you know, a good light on Denver, you know, the Denver politics. So... To Dan, uh, Donovan Lucero, the GKIs, bro, they they put it down, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they hold their own, bro. They're 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 some riders. So that's what it is, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. You know what time it is. I'm about to go get this money. Let's go.